Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the next villain from Lord of the Rings, Sauron. Now Sauron is a mythical Middle-earth villain that we've heard of. So uh, his hobby is to gaining power, torturing and tormenting his victims, destroying the innocent and corrupting the world. And his goals serve his master Morgoth and bring order to Middle-earth, destroy Numenor and his heirs, corrupt and rule over Middle-earth, find and reclaim the lost one ring to regain his former power, wipe out the races of elf and man, conquer and rule over the Middle-earth forever in eternal darkness. So the type of villain he is, is a legendary Dark Lord. So, Sauron is the main antagonist of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. So, despite being the title of the character, the Lord of the Rings is notable in that he never directly appears during the events of the novel. Nowhere is any detailed description given of what he looks like other than in vague terms. However, in the Silmarillion, Sauron is described as being a shapeshifter and took many forms, including that of a serpent, a vampire, and a great wolf. After Morgoth's fall, Sauron appeared in fair form as Anatar, the Lord of Gifts, and maintained, his, and maintained this appearance until the fall of Númenor, in which he was unable to ever take fair form ever again. The history of Middle-earth includes a passage describing, again vaguely, how the Númerians saw him upon that ship which was cast highest and stood dry. Upon a hill there was a man, but greater than, a, than any even of the race of the Númeror in statue. And it seemed that to men that Sauron was great, though they feared the light of his eyes. To many he appeared fair, to others terrible, but to some evil. A few clues are given as to Sauron's appearance as the Dark Lord. After he lost his ability to take a fair form, Tolkien described Sauron in one of his letters as having the form of a man of more than human statue but not gigantic, and as an image of malice and hatred made, in, made visible. He apparently gave off great heat, to the point that the elf king, Gil-galad, was burned to death by his mere touch of him, and Isilda described Sauron's hand as black, yet burning like fire, suggesting that his entire body was blackened from fire and heat. Gollum, having apparently seen Sauron directly, described him as having only four fingers on his black hand, suggesting that Sauron was unable to regenerate the finger from which in Shildor took the One Ring, similar to how the wounds Morgoth took form Fingolfin Fingol sorry, Fingol never healed. In addition to his physical appearance, Sauron also apparently had an aura of incredible ma malevolence. A passage in the Similarian describes him of having a dreadful presence and daunting eyes. Furthermore, his mere presence could bend all but the strongest wills. So, Sauron was utterly malicious and cruel. In fact, he was so merciless and unsympathetic for human life, thus making him extremely wrathful and aggressive. He had the will to dominate all life, meaning he wanted to rule Arda. Unlike Morgoth, who wanted to make its end, Tolkien even writes about Sauron not being a normal tyrant and desiring to be a god-king, making the latter a god-wannabe as well, even though the only true god in Middle-earth was Eru 
levata, because he was completely irredeemable. He had to be destroyed once and for all by the one ring being cast into Mount Doom. So there you have it. That is the story of Sauron, of what he looks like and his origins and his master called Morgoth. So, if you like this video, like, subscribe and comment below. Allons-y!